Hey everybody, and welcome to another Star Citizen video. My name is Scary Spikes, and today I'll be showing you something a little bit different. I'm going to show you how to use the Fleet View tool by Starship 42 in order to visualize, share, and let's be honest, flex your fleets in front of your friends and community members. Before we get started, though, a huge thanks to all of my wonderful channel members and patrons that make videos like these possible. And if you'd like to help support what I do here, of course, you can become a channel member using the blue join button down below. That's right beside that red subscribe button. Or you can click on the link in the description to head over to my Patreon and become one of my awesome patrons where many different types of benefits and perks await you. Thank you so much for your support. Let's go ahead and get started with this video. All right, so we're on the SSP Gaming Discord. You can join us by following the link in the description down below. And uh, once you're here, you can go ahead and click on the My Fleet section here, and you'll see that a number of our community members have already shared their fleets. So we're going to go ahead and scroll all the way to the very top here, and you'll see that there is a link and a little bit of an instructional piece here for Fleet View. But I'm going to go over this with you step by step in this video to make it a bit easier. Speaking of making things a little easier, if you're not on our Discord already, I will make sure to post this link down in the description to make that a little bit easier, more convenient for you to reach the website. And of course, I would recommend a Control D there on your browser to go ahead and favorite that because it's a, it's a nice tool to use and uh, I use it quite often myself. So go ahead and click on that and then you're going to be brought to this. Now, I know if you're a little bit newer to the game and you haven't seen this yet, this definitely seems pretty perplexing and honestly very overwhelming, but don't worry. We'll go over all of this in detail. These are basically all of the different ships that are available in the game in different stages of development as well. Before we do this, though, of course, we need to figure out what ships we have so that we can add them. Now, if you've done this before, you can simply go ahead and click on this button here, which will load up your previous fleet view setup, and then you can make very quick changes and export your settings immediately. But of course, if we're going to start from the beginning like we are today, then we're going to go ahead and head over to the RSI website so we can see what we have. So click on my account up in the very top right hand corner of the screen and then click on my hangar and this will take you to your hangar. Now, this is where you're going to be able to see everything that you have in your account, and that'll include ships, game packages, subscriber flare and all sorts of different things. And they're kind of going to be uh, mishmashed together in here, unfortunately. There is going to be a way to kind of categorize these things a little bit. So usually what I like to do is click on this drop down and start with game packages. As you can see here, I've got the carrot game package and I've got a number of different ships in there. Now, what's nice about this is if you've upgraded any of these, it'll show you that as well in this menu. So that's very useful. And then you can simply use the drop down again and check out all of your different standalone ships as well. So there you go. Now, uh, if the name down here, for example, doesn't match the name up here, then you may want to click on this little button here and then it'll actually tell you which ships you have, especially if you've upgraded them from other ships. So in this case, I have my Archimedes that I've upgraded to a Merchant Man, and that is what this actually is. So it's no longer an Archimedes. It is now a Merchant Man. So keep that in mind, especially if you're a little bit newer, it can get a little bit confusing. But nevertheless, I'm going to show you a second way to do this to see exactly what's on your account. But again, that does have a small downside, which we'll talk about in just a bit. So we're going to go and head over to the pledge store first, and uh, then we're going to head over to ship upgrades. And in the ship upgrades here, we see that we have a number of different ships. Now, you probably noticed if you paid attention as I was scrolling down through my hangar, that it's very likely that I have at least one Dragonfly Black, and perhaps I may even have three on my account. One, because it came with my carrot game package, and the other two that I've earned through various referral bonuses in the past. Now, whether or not they're upgraded or not is not going to really reflect here. If you have multiple variants of the ship that are not upgraded, you won't be able to see it here, and so that is where going through your hangar is actually more beneficial despite it taking a little bit more time. But if you know that you don't have duplicates of your ships or you know exactly how many duplicates you do have, then this makes it really, really, really simple because it literally gives you every ship that you own, whether it's one that you've upgraded from other ships or whether it's a standalone ship or whether it's one that's included in a game package like the Karak here. And the only thing that I would note here aside from that is that anything larger than an Idris, while probably not applicable to most of you, is not going to show up. So if you've seen that we do have a Kraken in the hangar just a little bit earlier in the video, you'll notice that that doesn't show up either. So it's good to jump between these and the My Hangar section 
to get an idea of which ships you have, note them down, and then of course, we're gonna go ahead and head back into the tool. All right, so now that you know which ships you have, it's time to plug them all in, and there's a couple of different ways to do this. As you can see, we have all of the different ships in the game here. We'll go over what all the colors and icons and everything mean in just a second, but if you're gonna be plugging them in, there's two ways of doing so. You can either import or you can do it by hand manually right from the very beginning. If you're brand new, you're gonna be doing the latter, but if you are returning, you're gonna be doing the foremost one, and that is going to be importing. So if you are back with a Hangar Explore file or a JSON file from Fleet View itself, you can go ahead and upload that by using the Browse button there, and it will automatically populate all the ships that you own based on the contents of that file. Now, there is also a clear all button. That's pretty self-explanatory, but if you've got a number of things selected and you'd like to start from uh, scratch, you can go ahead and click on that and it will get rid of all of your selections automatically instead of forcing you to minus them all out one by one by hand. Now, there's another option down here with chrome, white box, and colored or colorful. And uh, honestly, these are just uh, very simple modeling options here for you. So I prefer the colorful or the colored ones. Those uh, definitely show off the individuality of the ships a little bit more. They try to make them look as much as possible as they look in the game. Uh, but in any case, it does still make them very unique in the way that they appear in the 3D viewer. Now, if you want them a little bit more uniform, you can go with the white box there. Or you can go with chrome if you're extra fancy. But I'm going to go ahead and stay with colored for my particular purpose here. Now, there's also an append button down here. There's a little checkbox that you can check, and that basically just appends multiple files together, uh, kind of like bundles of multiple files together. So uh, if you do have multiple files that you upload, you can have them all together at the same time. Now, there is also a counter down here, and so that allows you to get a very quick view on how many ships you actually have without having to count them out. So again, we've got seven selected here. We'll click on clear all, and now we've got back to zero. So uh, there's a few more things here. We've got a start button. That is when you're ready to have all of your models created for you. We'll definitely get to that point still. We have the uh, last fleet view button. Now, if you've been here before and you didn't uh, out, you know, output a file, you can still, as long as you haven't cleared the cookies or cache from your browser, load your previous setting. So if I click on that, you'll see all of my previous settings are now here and I can make edits a lot easier without having to pretty much do every single ship that is still on my account minus one maybe i'm going to go ahead and clear all because we're going to do this all from the beginning anyway but i wanted to show you that you do have that option right so there's a few more things to look at here and uh, you'll notice that we have uh, first of all all sorts of different columns what's nice is uh if you are having any issues with sight like myself you can hold the control button and then you can use your mouse wheel to zoom up and down and the website does scale very nicely uh in that case as well which is very good now you have some icons to the left of all of the ship names and then of course on the right hand side of those you have a plus and a minus button and what will initially appear to be zero and as you can see as we add the same ship multiple times to our fleet uh, as you may have especially with smaller ships then you'll notice that that number goes up if we remove each one by one then the number will go down there is also uh, there are also some icons here that you can see so we have crusader there we've got drake there and what's cool is you can click on that if you have one of each ship and you can add multiples of them to your collection simply by clicking on the icon for each specific manufacturer so if you're pretty gung-ho like me and uh, let's say you have one ship of every manufacturer no i'm kidding i i, I don't have that but that'd be very very uh, impressive if anyone did then uh, yeah you can definitely do that and it just makes your job like super easy but we're going to go ahead and clear everything again. Kind of weird that this turned red, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and keep it moving. Right, so there's a few other things that you need to see. There's going to be those icons. And if you click on, or rather uh, just mouse over those icons, it's going to show you all of the other ships that are in the same category as the ship whose uh, icon you're hovering over at the moment. So, for example, uh, we can see that we have combat here. So if we hover over combat, it'll show you all of the different combat ships that are in the game. We've got the Liberator, that's a transport ship. So if we hover over the little uh, transport icon just to the left of that again, it will show you all of the different transport ships and so on. So this is a great way at a glance just to see where all the transport ships are at or where all the combat ships or exploration ships and so on are at. And uh, again, if you happen to be in uh, that uh, pool of people that only buy exploration ships or only buy combat ships, this would be a great way to visualize where everything is, helping you to find everything quickly. 
Now you might notice that we also have different colors for the different ships as well. And uh, that's very, very simple. We just have this like sort of like gold uh, color here. We also have a blue and a white. So the white just means that they've already been released and they're flight ready. Uh, the gold means that they have not been released and we don't know when they're going to be available. And the blue is that they are not yet released. However, they have been scheduled and you can see what the scheduled release date is according to the roadmap at any given time by hovering your mouse over next to the little icon to the right of the name of each particular ship that happens to be in blue. Now, obviously, I, I would not take this as a scripture and, you know, uh, and uh, sort of a, a prophecy soon to be fulfilled, so to speak, because, of course, as we know, the uh, the dates can change. And again, I'm not 100% sure how quickly Fleet View actually updates this information based on the information that's available in the roadmap. So that's definitely something to keep in mind and, you know, take it with a grain of salt. That being said, though, I'm going to go ahead and start to work on my fleet. And uh, once we're done, I'm going to go ahead and resume the uh, video here, show you what I've done. And then we'll go into the 3D viewer together and take a look at some of the controls there. See you soon. Once you've got your ships selected like I do here, you can go ahead and click on the start button and the models will start to render. Just keep in mind that this is still rendering stuff, even though it's in your browser. So if you have a lower to mid tier system, you may want to keep an eye on your system resources, closing apps in the background to make this a smoother experience for you. Although if you can run Star Citizen, you should really not have any issues running this thing in your browser. That being said, when you first come in, you're going to see all of your ships and they're going to be in the default layout, as you can see in the top left hand corner of your screen. There's some hints on the bottom, so you can go ahead and go to the next hint and the one following that just by clicking on next hint. Or you can switch them off doing that, clicking the turn off hints button on the bottom left. You can move things around with the right mouse button and you can use your left mouse button to look around. Your mouse wheel can be used up or down in order to zoom in or out. And you can hold the middle mouse button and drag your mouse for faster zooming as well. There are some layouts on the top left hand corner here. Down here we have options to capture images. On the top right hand corner, we have options to display metrics and on the bottom right hand corner, we have options to display miscellaneous additional information. I'm going to take you through this very quickly, but again, if you have any questions, feel free to come by our discord or drop a comment down below. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the different layouts. We've got the main line layout here, as you can see, and uh, this is going to look a little bit different for you than it will for me, depending on how many ships you have. So if you have just a few ships, you might notice them nicely aligned here in just a single line but if you have some more you might notice that there is a few columns and rows unfortunately uh, even though they do look relatively nicely organized this is not my favorite layout and so as we make our way to my favorite layout let me show you the next one that i think looks kind of cool still not for me but this one is the circular layout so if you want to take some nice top down shots or some more stylistic shots with your ships and really get a sense of scale of how big things are and if you can zoom in here we can see that we have one of our uh, F8C Lightnings, this one being the Executive Edition. It's a pretty decently sized ship when you compare it with something like the Pisces, for example. But then you look right behind it and you see the Perseus and just the size difference is pretty astonishing. So this is pretty cool. It does give you a, a good sensation of scale. But again, not my favorite. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right. Now, this one is kind of weird. I don't know why you'd want this. This is probably not the most photogenic way to look at your spaceships but hey uh if you want to have the whole you know toys strewn all over a kid's bedroom kind of look then i guess you found your match right here as you can probably imagine this is not the way i like to take screenshots of my ships uh so i'm gonna go ahead and move on but hey whatever creams your twinkie let's go ahead and move on to my favorite one which is this view here which is really quite nice and uh this really is a great way to show off your ships because in my opinion it is the most screenshot friendly option to do now I know if we zoom out and uh, we want to get all the ships, then the, the text does seem a little small. And for smaller screens, seeing this on a Discord channel, for example, might be a little bit too cumbersome. So how are we going to fix that? Well, we can click on the plus buttons here. As you can see, that allows us to zoom in a little bit. And then we have additional rows and columns. Actually, uh, I can keep going here if I really want to, if you want to make it super wide. But honestly, I think I really like this one right here. Everything is nice and close together. And then uh, it's good to go. So there is also another option for you. If you want something more custom, you can click on this and this allows you to freely move any of your ships anywhere that you would like. Again, uh, this is uh, for some of the more creative folks out there. For me, I just like to do things kind of quickly. Uh, and you can also double click on these ships, by the way, which will show you 
uh, sort of a nice rotating view of them and allows you to name them as well if you click and hold, which is pretty cool. So if we go back out, we're going to go ahead and head back into the list. And now we have this list again. I like to go from top down and just organize it as such. And that way we have everything all sorted. Now there's a few different ways to export. And uh, if you hold your mouse over these, they will actually tell you uh, what to do. Pretty, pretty simple. Uh, honestly, I don't like to use any of these because sometimes what happens is when you snap an image and it downloads it to your PC, it doesn't actually snap an image of what you see. It's always a little bit off kilter, always uh, a little bit um, sort of off to the side or something along those lines. And I don't know why that's been happening. That's just been happening to me. If uh, you are someone to whom this is happening as well, um, then you um, maybe want to tell us in the comments down below. In any case, the reason why I'm going to my taskbar here with the start menu is because I wanted to show you my way of capturing things. Now, if you guys don't know this, you can hold the Windows button, right? Uh, and you want to make sure that you're clicked away. You don't, you don't want this window to be the foreground window because what happens is if you press the next button in the sequence that I'm about to show you, this is what it's going to do. It's going to mess things up, okay? So what you want to do is you want to set it up the way that you want it. So in this case, I want it just like this, and we're going to make it nice and straight. There we go. And I'm going to press the Windows button, and I'm going to click in the taskbar at the bottom here, just so that the uh, the window here is not my foreground window. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the Windows button, the Shift key, and then press S, as in Sierra. And you'll notice that we now have this screen here. This is actually a very useful feature built straight into Windows that allows you to take screenshots of pretty much any window. You do have some options up here if you want to play around with that, but the first one is going to be one that's going to make things very simple for you to share things that you see online without having to right click and copy and do all that kind of stuff that you would usually do. So in this case, I just want to have a picture of my fleet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start at the top of the corner and just drag with my left mouse button. So click and drag and I'm going to want to frame it up the way that I want it. This looks good. And then I'm going to go ahead and release. Now in the notifications pane, you're going to notice that you do have this here. You can click on it, then you can save this as a separate image. But the really nice thing about this is that uh, as soon as you do this, it is also copied into your clipboard. So what we can do now is we can head back over to our Discord and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this because unfortunately we no longer have the Javelin. Goodbye Javelin. All right. So that's gone, and then I'm gonna go ahead and say, hey, everyone, check out the new fleet. And then we're just gonna go ahead and hit Control V to paste, and press Enter, and there we go. And that is the way that I like to post my fleet and uh, share anything that I see online from pretty much anywhere. Uh, if you are a Mac user, I'm sure that there is a built-in um, uh, built way to take screenshots, but then again, if you're a Mac user, I'm not 100% sure that Star Citizen actually even works on Mac, which really kind of sucks. Um, but that being said, this is the easiest way to do this. In my opinion, we can go ahead and head back over to fleet view. Now there are a few other options for you here. If you want to stylize it a bit more, or you want to emphasize certain data or metrics a little bit more. So for example, this first one, uh, will give you an idea of the total number of ships you have. Let's go ahead and click off the, uh, the little thing at the bottom here. Okay, so we have 22 ships, but it will also color coordinate them for you and show you that we have four capital ships. We have five large ships, two medium ships, seven small ships, two snub ships, and two vehicles. So that'll give you a good idea of what your fleet is made up of. So if you, this is something you want to include, you can go ahead and do that by clicking on the button on the top right hand corner of the screen. We do also have this, which is going to um, basically get rid of the first one there. You can't have all three of these at the same time, unfortunately, which would be cool if you could. But I understand why you can't because they're all showing different data. So this one's going to show us your crew. So we're going to need ideally 110 crew for all of these. We have 22 pilots, 27 crew and 61 other crew. And if we were to zoom in a little bit more, we'll see that we have <laughs> how big these people are actually really does give you a sense of scales. If we zoom in a little bit more to this you see those are all people and this is the ship. So we see that we have quite a number uh quite a large number of crew here i do believe it's actually if i'm not mistaken it could be up to 28 crew on the idris so very impressive but that's what the uh, metrics are for the crew button here and then if you click on this that will also make things a little bit different here it'll change things around give you a visualization of the total amount of cargo 
that you can haul on any one of these given ships. And if you zoom in again, you can see how much you have per ship. So we have 30 there. Uh, then uh, the venture, or the, the vulture is going to give us 12. For all you EVE Online players, you guys are probably having a chuckle at this point. We have 28 uh, on this one, 12 on that one, 28 on that one. So um, 72 on that one, the Corsair, which is uh, actually kind of interesting. But uh, it will give you a good indication. 456 on the Carrick, that's always nice. And uh, so on. So yeah, pretty good indication of the <laughs> amount of cargo. Oh my goodness. I just see a ridiculous amount of 3792 <laughs> for the Kraken. Absolutely silly. But that gives you an idea of uh, how much cargo is on each vessel as well. So some very useful metrics uh, that you can see uh, by simply just clicking on these buttons here. Now, these, um, I'm not really going to go over these. You can play with these at your own leisure. They're just additional information that you can display, including the name of your fleet, which you can also change. But again, uh, we're only going over the very, very tip, tippy toe basics here. Uh, so uh, you can play around with this and have some fun. And of course, share your fleets with us on our Discord and with all of your friends and your other communities as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. And if you did, you can help to support me in a big way by making sure to like the video, as well as sharing it with your friends and communities. And if you're not already, becoming a subscriber with notifications turned on so that you don't miss any of my future weekly uploads. If you want to help me a little bit more directly, I do have a link to my Patreon page in the description down below. And of course, there is also the YouTube membership program, which you can join by clicking the blue join button under the video. Don't forget to come by our wonderful Discord community. We've got all sorts of awesome people here that are waiting to meet, play, and chat with you. The link for that can be found in the description below as well. So I hope to see you there and in the next video.